Oh yeah, see, th this would have been horrible without Flash, man. Flash. Pokemon fight, ready, go. There's also a lot of trainers in here, so this is definitely gonna test your endurance. Pokemaniac wants to fight. Cubone. Cubone, ah, oh, he's cute. Fish rig, get wrecked. Here, water gun. Wakey, level 20. He might be enough for a Hypno now. Slowpoke, alright. Um, Marcus. Marcus, use Razor Leaf. Super effective. Game over. 1150, nice. Oh, there was always an item here. I guess I'm mistaken. No item, it seems. Oh! That's our first encounter. Zubat. I mean, I was—I I killed my first Zubat before in Mount Moon. Now it's time to get my second Zubat or my first Zubat. No! Oh my God, man! I didn't know it was gonna be super effective. Oh my God! This is gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. I swear, this Zubat. I just killed it again. Well, at least I have a good Zubat killer now. I mean, there we go. Man, I wanted to catch that Zubat. Golbat is actually a decent Pokemon. Zubat will hunt me, man. It will come to my dream, eat my dream. It will suck my dream. I guess. Poor Zubat. I saw the HP drop. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Oh, fuck. Hey, an Onyx. That would have been cool to get. 
Guess what? I can't capture. Screech. A little sorry, guys, but Screech is not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, at that moment, he knew he was. Beep. Okay, so far I can only go one way, that's good. Look at that, a wild machop, man, I wanted that one. Machop, machop, machamp. shark. <laughs> I drew Pokemon when I'm home. It's a, oh, it's a Pokemaniac. Level 25, man. Jeez. Grew to level 21. Well, I don't really need grinding at the moment because I think I'm at the right level at the moment, not over leveled. It's a Zubat. Confusion. Okay, dead end, not cool. I don't often come here, but I will fight you. What kind of text is that? I don't come here often, but I will fight you. Alright. Oddish. Let's see if we can sleep this Oddish. Nope. Potion powder. Go away with your potion powder, man. There we go. Confusion. Super effective. Because it's a bug type, I guess. I guess that's also what killed the. Uh, Zubat, the fact that it's a bug type. Bulbasaur, hey, I haven't seen a Bulbasaur yet. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, haven't seen a Bulbasaur yet. Looks at his starter Pokemon. What's, what's this? I don't know. Charmander. <laughs> I haven't seen a starter Pokemon yet. I mean, haven't seen a Bulbasaur yet. Poor Ivysaur, I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's a Cyndaquil. <laughs> well, what's a Cyndaquil? We're playing Generation 1. Cyndaquil does not exist yet. If only we knew back then. I remember I went to the cinemas when I was a kid, at the very first Pokemon movie. And at the end of the Pokemon movie, you saw like this elephant kind of Pokemon. And but the first time we saw that when we were children, we're like, what's that? We were trying to think of an evolution of an existing Pokemon. That, that uh, 
elephant Pokemon was Donphan. Donphan or Donphy? And that was actually the first Pokemon I saw of the next generation, of Generation 2. Because before that, you only had your original base 151 Pokemon. Nobody knew about Generation 2. So we were really surprised when we watched Mew vs. Mewtwo, the movie. That at the end of the movie, you see Ash battle uh, uh, a trainer and he summons uh, Dunfin. I remember that quite well. Yeah, the first Pokemon movie, Mewtwo vs. Mew. At the very end of the Pokemon, after all the events play, you see uh, Ash battling another trainer. And that trainer summons, uh, or, yeah, summons... Oh yeah, that's true, I guess that's true, yeah, ho-ho. I totally forgot about that one. That's actually, I think, in the very first episode. The first or second episode, he sees ho-ho. But the Pokemon Pokedex do doesn't know who it is. It doesn't give him any information. You're absolutely right about that. I forgot about Ho Ho. Look, it's a Charmander. But in the yeah, so Donphan is the second uh, Pokemon then, I suppose. Donphy or Donphan, I forgot its name. It's a little, little elephant Pokemon. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really know where um, Pokemon the movie stands. I mean, he has a Charizard there, so it's I think. Um, at least after Blaine, because that's where Charmeleon transforms into Charizard. Maybe it's right after the Pokemon League, or it's in front of the Pokemon League? I actually don't know. It's been ages since I've seen that Pokemon movie. I just remember that one scene that with the, with the elephant Pokemon. Look, it's Cubone. Cubone, go to sleep. It's all just a nightmare. Look how overpowered Wakey already is, man. He's just level 21. 22 now. Psychic Pokemon are so powerful in this game. Wild Zubat appears. I mean, it's... I don't know, man. I had a lot of Pokemon anime. I watched a lot. But I, st I watched everything, including, like, the unaired ones and the, the forbidden ones, etc. But, uh... I think I got to, like, season 6. I'm out of PP, man. My confusion is empty. I got one. My Pokemon techniques will leave that you crying. Hiker. He's got one Pokemon. Geodude. Uh-oh. This thing is gonna self-destruct. We got a walking bomb here, dudes. Let's get out of here. Uh, Marcus has more HP. I'm gonna s actually... Who has the most defense out of my Pokemon? 57? I think Marcus is pretty tanky. 1549, okay. Uh, I'm gonna summon you, Fishrick. See? Dude, this, this thing is evil, man. He's literally got one Pokemon, and he decides to blow it up. <sighs> this thing will give me a heart attack someday, I swear. I'm 
Man, that trainer is evil, man. He literally had one Pokemon and he blew it up. I was thinking he's not gonna use self-destruct, right? It's only one Pokemon. He can't battle after he blows it up. Guess what? Boom. Hit me with your best shot. Good thing I ch I, I, I uh, pulled out Drowsy, man. If Drowsy was hit with that self-destruct, he would have been gone. I do like the fact that Drowsy has 63 HP. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering as well. Why the hell are you even expl- I mean... If you have four Pokemon, I guess I could understand if you blew one up. But you literally blew up your only Pokemon, just to spite me. I swear they're just like, okay, this guy, we need to kill him. Let's use everything we got. Self-destruct your Pokemon. I think uh, I did a good thing by choosing Fishrick. He's, at, he's the one with the most eight, uh, defense for now. Uh, Marcus had a bit more HP, but Fishrick has more defense, which I think matters in Explosion as well. Yeah, and this 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 cave takes a lot out of you. Bombs with arms, dude. I knew Geodudes could self destruct. I mean, I know Grevlar could. I forgot Geodudes could as well. I need to. I need to switch out Wakey, man. Wakey doesn't have the power to kill anymore. I mean, he's got Pound, which would work if not all of these were made of stone. So I'm gonna put Wakey into the bench. He's already level 22, so that's definitely good. Why no down the trainer? What? No items? I'm confused here. What, are, what do you mean? No, actually, um, that rock you see here in the lower right, it's just going around it. Yeah, I just walked back only to, uh, to beat the trainer. That's all, that's the reason why I walked back. Just to get that extra trainer in. There's no items there. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to switch walkie, wakey away. Um, let's go with Fishrick in front then. I might need to heal him in case another Geodude decides to blow up. Yeah, I know, man. Trust me, there's plenty of Pokemon trainers in this cave. But I put Fish Rick in front now, so he should be able to take down most of them. Look at all these Pokemon, man. Yeah. I'll be okay for now, though, because now I'm not taking damage from switching. And I pretty much one-shot all of these Pokemon inside this cave with the uh, Gyarados anyway. So we should be okay until Gyarados runs out of PP. I 
I'm not. I'm not gonna use flower butt, Rick. I'm only. Ha I only have flower butt with me. To use cut, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm not gonna waste any XP on it because it's not gonna be one of my final Pokemon. That's really the only reason it's here is because I need to cut. I don't know. I had a feeling that the moment I walk outside of this cave, um. There's gonna be a bush, and if I don't have cut, I have to go back, something like that. Yeah, bite is very strong, together with water gun as well. I mean, water gun is a basic attack, but it's basically the only water attack I have right now as well. And we got exactly 100 HP with Fisherick. So this is another, uh, the bull... The thing with Rock Cave is, is that there's a lot of these little boulders on the left side of us that is basically just a loop. So you can go the left side and the right side, but they all end up at the same way. But I always do the loop, because there might be some items there or some trainers. In this case, there's an extra trainer here, so... And the encounter rate is high here, man. I use Bite for Zubats and I use Water for everything that's stone. Yeah, I know. This cave is very long. Trust me. We're, I think we're halfway. Imagine doing this cave without light. The, the black dark. We were lucky. We got both a Drowsy and a Voltorb. I, I, I didn't want to use Flash on Drowsy, but if I had no other choice, I would have. Water gun, bionics. Yeah, I think we're halfway. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm gonna extend past 10, unfortunately. Stick with me, though. I'm going fast now. Because I, I, I skipped the, sw the swapping around, so the battle should go a lot faster now. Flowers defeated Hiker. Let's go into a little bit of an overdrive here. At least all the Pokemons are getting one shot at thanks to our Gyarados here. Okay, dead end. Now we're going quick, trust me. I think I'll be out at 22.30. That's my goal now. We, no, right now we're at the third layer. And there's five areas. So this is the third area, I think. Let me check. Uh, let me think, I mean. Yeah. I think we're halfway. Or past halfway now. We got Graffler. Hiya, oh, yeah. don't explode on me, please. Just die. But we wanted to start up a game X. What do you I wanted to start up a game? Ah, uh, but. Uh, what game were you, did you want to start up? Go down this ladder. Okay, that's a dead end. Um, Ah, Phasmophobia. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't have to stay for me just for the stream, though. You could do that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this quickly. I'm gonna go through it really quickly. Okay, we got another trainer here. 
Hikers leave twigs as trail markers. Jigglypuff. Look at that Jigglypuff, man. That looks creepy. I don't know, but something's wrong with it. I don't know. It's like a zombie version of Jigglypuff. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry, Rick. I'm really kicking it into overdrive now. You can see Fish Rick is already 29 as well. He's just biting through all these Pokemon. Meowth. Bite is really strong. Has a high attack power. So, there we go. Another trainer down. Much up. have to disappoint you though that I have to go back downwards and do the loop because there might be some items there well actually this is not a loop this one <clears throat> yeah I think the, 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 the sprites don't look that much different in blue and red though but nothing here this is the second last area after this there's just one more area which is a, not a very big area but it's basically two long levels but you go up down up down up down the entire time you're waving through these two levels there's a lot of dead ends as well but I just need to make sure I don't miss anything at those dead ends. Yeah, well, I could use Repel. You're right there. But then I miss out on some XP. And I'd rather do it now, else I just have another whole video left of grinding. So that's also not very good. Like, I usually don't run from Pokemons. Because that's all extra XP. I do wish sometimes the encounter rate was a little bit lower. Oh my god, literally two steps. Come on man, Rick wants to play Phasmophobia. Come on, Pokemon. <laughs> Get out of my way. Uh -huh. Can you beat my power? Uh, I'm pretty sure I can. You're just another hiker anyway. So rock Pokemon, good luck. Hey yo dude. Water gun. I think I'm close to level 30. He might, uh, he may, he might overtake uh, Ivysaur. Uh, I think I start Kingdom Reborn. The early stage already cost me hours, and it is just a small town. And on speed four. What is Kingdom Reborn? It's like one of those sim games, like a simulator game, not like The Sims, but simulator. Or is it like uh, Civilization, if you will? See, I told you, you don't stand a chance, hiker man. You have a Pokedex? I want one too. Look how many trainers there are in this cave. They just keep on coming.
Does this guy literally have three slow pokes? Yes, he does. Look at how powerful Fish Rick is, man. He's just tearing through these guys. This is a revenge for when he was still a Magikarp. All the Pokemon picked on him. Oh my god, there's so many trainers here. Hey, don't try anything funny in the dark. Really? Bellsprout? Don't you guys have anything better than a Bellsprout? ADHD plant? That's what Rick calls his uh, Bellsprout in his, in his uh, Let's Play. You guys should definitely also check it out. Check out uh, Hammercat Life. The, the guy who's in chat that's been spamming me for the last four hours. If you do watch my video in, uh, in YouTube when I upload this, go check out his page, man. Definitely. R Rick, link, uh, can you link your YouTube channel and your Facebook channel in the chat? Because right now I'm trying to do a shout out to you so people can click on the link as well. Not sure if it would work like that. Huh? After three years, your magic card became strong. He did. He didn't become strong. He became OP, man. He's eating this Pokemon. He's literally eating them. Look at them bite. Four hours, twelve. Four hours, twelve hours, and still counting. I mean, I did a shout out yesterday, but I mean in this specific video, man. <laughs> there we go. Hammercat forty-two live follow. Yeah. Do it. I suggest you do. He also does a nuzlocke. luck. He's actually the guy who helped me set up my stream. And he and Jake from Jake Ride Speedrunning, uh, they both were playing Nuzlocke and that got me into playing Nuzlocke again as well. Or at least in playing Pokemon, because I never tried Nuzlocke. I played plenty of Pokemon when I was a kid. Okay, I'm out of bite, so I need to switch to Tackle, which is lower in attack. Still good enough, though. Excuse me, ma'am. Why do you have four level 19 Pokemon? Or, I'm assuming they're all level 19 at least. j Wright Gaming and Speedrunning. Yeah, that's the one. j Wright 420. Uh, Fishrick grew to level 31. I think he's already overtaking Ivysaur in levels now. How is the Saturday video gone? What do you mean with that? Ah, uh, you mean how I... The, you mean the... The Crash Bash game. I haven't really done anything with it yet. Because all the free time I have right now is done is going into uh, streaming. So I will pick that one up in the weekend. The weekend will be, uh, for me, will be editing day. Editing and uploading day. Yeah, I will, man. But like, I have about four to five hours after work to record and stream or edit. Like, say I have five hours to do stuff. And, uh, well, if I'm streaming for four hours, there's not much left I can do. Don't worry, though, don't worry. I will, I will, maybe I can do it on Friday as well. Yeah, Crash Bash was fun, man. Unfortunately, <laughs> guys, we played two games last week, uh, last Saturday together. We played Crash Bash and we played a Rampage, but unfortunately we forgot to, uh, well, we didn't, we didn't forget to save. The problem was, uh, we went to the start menu and we accidentally pressed quit and then it asked us, do you want to quit? Yes or no? But we weren't sure which option was highlighted, so we were pretty sure the no option was highlighted. And then we pressed the yes button. So then the game just closed itself. Should have done a, s a save state there so we could just reload it. But we forgot to do that as well. So we had about an hour of uh, Rampage Gaming that went into the drain. 
But I definitely want to pick that game up again with Rick next time. Because, uh, yeah, Rampage is quite fun. It's a no-brainer, basically. I just used my last water gun. I maybe should not have done that. Payday. L leave my money alone, man. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was you or me, but we couldn't see which option was highlighted. It was very unclear. Because it used some weird settings, uh, some weird colors. It didn't really show us which option was highlighted. But luckily we were able to save the uh, Crash Bandicoot, uh, the Crash Bash run. We did pretty good there. That might be a, a multi-video. Last time we did, um... Uh, last time we did... What was it called? Double Dragon? We were able to do it in one video. The Crash Bash is quite big. I don't think I could fit it into one video. It would be quite a long video. So we ran out of PP for both Bite and Water Gun, Rick. to remove this paralysis it's really annoying me I think I already beat like what 12 to 15 trainers now just in this cave alone there we go I could use ether but I want to save them because those things are not cheap and I think we're almost done anyway I think we're near the exit, Rick. That sign, I think, is the exit sign. I'm just gonna go left a little bit, and then we're out of this day cave. finally out of the cave. I don't think I'm gonna save at the uh, Poker Center, Rick. I think I'm gonna save the video here, because it might be a while before we can reach the Pokemon Center, because there's still a few trainers in my way. It's the first time I see... Oh no, uh, our rival has a Pichotto, I think. Ha 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 ha. That's another hiker. There's so many men. to kill this uh, Geodude. So I need to start putting Marcus in the front now. Do you see the, 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 do you see the HP difference between Marcus and uh, Gyarados? Well, I guess because Gyarados is already in its final stage. I think Ivysaur will get a massive HP boost when it reaches Venusaur as well. Because it's about like 20 HP difference almost. Super effective. Ha <laughs> I thought he was laughing there. Apparently he had a fever or a hay fever.
Max Ever, nice. What's that? Plus 100 versus 85? Oh yeah, I mean the hell, yeah, the HP, yeah. It's a lot of difference. But then again, Gyarados is in its final stage and Ivysaur is not yet. Ah, this mountain air is delicious. So imagine this, Rick. You just go through a tunnel with like shitloads of trainers and quite a big tunnel as well. And then when you're finally outside, you still get hit with more trainers. This is actually, this is like a level check for you, you know. And I realized that Gyarados actually out-leveled Marcus. I thought Marcus was 31 as well. Luckily I have a grass type Pokemon which can take care of these stone types. Critical hit, it's super effective. Marcus is level 31, sweet. That cleared my hat, all right. Oh man, there's one more. Then this is the last one, I think. Hi kid, want to see my Pokemon? I thought I was a guy from the village already because I could already see the building. I didn't know this was a trainer. It's gotta be the last one then. And of course he has a cubo. Razor leaf. What I want to know is what route am I on right now? Is this? I think this is route ten because it's after the uh, the rock. What is it called? After the uh, rock tunnel. Poor Slowpoke, crit and super effective. All right, Lavender Town. Let me check really quick what's on this side. It's a good thing we went into that grass, Rick, before uh, we entered the cave, because there's no grass here. So the only grass in Route 10 is at the other end of the cave. Yeah. Well, maybe there's a little bit of grass one should surf, but I don't know yet. Well, we reached Lavender Town. Damn, that was a long trip, man. And Lavender Town does not have a po uh, uh, it does have a Pokemon Center, but I don't think it has a, a gym. Cubone wears skull, right? People will pay a lot for one. Oh my god, you're sick. What's wrong with you, kid? I saw Cubone's mother die trying to escape from Team Rocket, man. This town is... This town makes me sad. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of gold. I should probably also try to get Hammer Cat back and just as does deposit Voltorb, because we don't no longer lead the flash. We hope to see you again. And then we're gonna end the video here. Because, uh, yeah, it's getting late. I extended it because I wanted to get through the rock tunnel. Let's see. Uh, Pokeball, go away. You've been a great help, thanks. Bills PC, withdraw, Diglett, Hammercat, Cowret. Uh, Cowret or Hammercat? Let's get a. Let's get a Hammercat. Alrighty, and that's it then. Let's check our Pokedex. Let's be safe. Then let me check my Pokedex. We got 17. Nice. Flowers, here we go. So we got. 45,000 gold, Rick. That's what I mean. We have a lot of money here. 45,200. We played for 12 hours. We got three badges, 17 Pokemon, and none of them have died yet. So I think we're doing a pretty good this look around here. We stabilized. It was a bit harder in the start. So in the previous video, we uh, went through... Let me check... No, we actually arrived here um, in Lavender Town, 
And uh, we can go inside the ghost tower, but we can't progress there yet. So I'm just gonna check the shop real quickly. And I had to reset my uh, controls here because it stopped recognizing my controller. But I have to reconfigure it for a second. There we go. Because I switched A and B around, and that's annoying. Let me see. Um, I'm not sure if we bought any Great Balls yet. Pokeball, Great Balls. No. So the first thing we'll do is buy some Great Balls. About nine of them, I suppose. And then let's also get some Super po We have one Super Potion left. So I'm going to buy nine Super Potions. Yeah, I need to save more often, I know. Um, let me double check again. Sell. Pokeball, Great Ball, Super Potions. Yes, everything is 10. Perfect. So, um, there's actually a name raider here, I believe. So, Rick, we need some names for Diglett and Pidgeotto. Hello there, I'm the official name raider. Want me to rate the nickname of your Pokemon? Sure. Uh, Pidgeotto, there we go. So what, we sh what shall we call Pidgeotto, Rick? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Ah, she said it's... Oh, yeah, we can call it Ebon. But that was actually for... Uh, when I showed her a picture of... I think that was Spiro. She called it Ebon. Which means bird. We can call it Ebon if you want. There's a massive delay, though, in the uh, chat, it seems. So we'll call it Ebon. Let me lower the volume on my phone. There we go. Um, I... Ebon. We'll call it Ebon, which is Philip, which is Tagalog, I think, for bird. Alright, this Pokemon has been renamed Ebon. That's a better name before than before. Um, we still have Diglett as, what did I say? Yeah, Diglett and Pijotto, I think. Let me start sorting things out here for a sec. Flower turned on, Bill's PC. So we have Deposit, we have Marcus, Wakey, Flower Butt, Ebon, Fishrick, Hammercat. Okay, we're gonna remove Hammercat. And then Captain Jack, Diglett. Is there anyone we want from here? No. Diglett. Dig Dug for Diglett. Oh yeah, I like that name. Dig Dug. That's a that's a reference to an old Nintendo game. Dig Dug. Luckily, we only have two Pokemon that we have to rename. Let's go talk to Mister Rename here. Hello, I'm the official name raider. Want me to? Yes, I do. Hurry up, man. We got Diglett here, which we will rename Dig Dug. Yes. I want a different name, so D I G Bar Capital D U G Dig Duck. There we go. Thank you for renaming. Um we go to the Pokemon Center. Where is it? Because we also need to start dropping some of these items.
deposit. We, uh, yeah, okay. Withdraw, no, we need to deposit some items here. Let's see, deposit items. Nope, nope, the max potion, yep. Gonna save that for the Elite Four. Awakening, Perilous Heal, Ethers. I don't need Ethers yet, so those can go. Escape ropes, I'd rather keep them. A max Ether. All right, should be good to go now. We don't have a lot of items with us right now. We got one, uh, four, eight. We got 10 items with us. And then we'll go to, uh, I think this is Route 7. Where we can catch another Pokemon. Let me check. Um, I, I know I only took five Pokemons with me, trust me, I know. Flower butt is not going to be used. So we got Ebon. Let's start leveling Ebon. Let's start leveling uh, Wakey. We got Marcus and Fishrick. Let's go. Ebon is uh, level 20. I think he needs like 32 in order for it to be a Pidgeot. Um, see if we can take down this Clefairy. Double slap. Okay, stop it, man. Ah, oh, this double slap animation is gonna take forever, man. You know what? This is gonna be too close. I'm gonna summon Fishrick. Of course, it keeps double slapping. This is how you bite. Go. Be gone. Evil Clefairy. Ebon grew to level 21. Sweet. And we learned Roar Wind, which is the most absolute useless skill in Pokemon. It never affects any Pokemon. No matter what you do, you probably don't even hit it. So in the next city, oh man, we got sun. In the next city, we should, uh, I guess, decide, because that's going to be Celadon City. I know you can get an EV there, so if you have an EV, that means you have a Flareon or a Jolteon, because we need fire and lightning. Or we could go for Dratini, and Dratini is going to turn into Dragonite, which is kind of like a Gyarados 2.0, like a powerhouse. So um, what do you think we should do, Rick? Should we get the Dragonite? Should we get, well, it's basically a Dratini when we get it. We need a lot of coins in the, uh... We have a, there's a lot of, um... I forgot what it's called, man. We need a lot of coins in order to get Dratini. Look at this Clefairy beating the crap out of my Dragon Gyarados. Should we go for Dratini uh, or an Eevee? Eevee basically means um, Flareon or Jolteon. I don't think I'll go for Flareon because fire Pokemon are easier to get in this game. I think I need to go for Jolteon because Jolteon is hard to get. I mean a lightning Pokemon is hard to get, not specifically Jolteon. I don't want Voltorb. Okay, yeah, so let's go with Eevee then. I'll, I think I'll transform Eevee into, uh, into a Jolteon. You, don't, you, you know how much money we need in order to do, uh, to get Dratini, man. We need a lot. I think we need like almost 100,000 gold. What is wrong with this Vulpix? Why is it staring at me like that? Look at his eyes. It's 
staring into my soul. You can get a load of electric Pokemon if you have Surf and go to the power station. Yeah, but... You'll see. When we go into the power station, I'm gonna bet you the first Pokemon I get is either a Voltorb or a Magnemite. And both Pokemon are not cool, man. You need strategy to win at this. Nope, you just need overpowered Pokemon, like I do. Nerd wants to fight, sends out Grimer. Okay, I should start using uh, Wakey for this. Wakey is perfect for killing Bucked, a potion type Pokemon. Uh, let's go Marco. Oh, you know, just so throw in Wakey, why not? Take the hit, Wakey, you can do it. Confusion! Instant super effective, one hit KO. Oh, it's not even one hit KO, really. You can have my you can you can have my hypnosis if you want. There we go. It's about to send Muck. Muck has a buttload of HP, man. Let's go. Confusion. Potion gas. I don't think that's gonna. Oh, uh, potion. I thought it was gonna do some damage, but it's an instant potion. I'll take the potion. Don't worry. Oh, crit hit. That was scary. Hmm, super potion. That's heal, man. Heal up, wakey. I will. I will cure the. I will cure the uh, potion afterwards. Gonna get a buttload of experience here. Look at that, 739. That's the highest so far. Instant level up there. And he's got another Grimer. Fusion. Okay, I have to use antidote after this. Super nerd, it's not logical. All right, guys, be right back. One second. I'm back guys, had to open the door there for a second. Oh, I forgot to remove my antidote. Uh, or I forgot to remove my potion with antidote. There we go. And then we can cut up this tree. Did we get flower butt? Yes, we did. Alright, so this is a new capture, Rick, so... Let's see. Should probably... Uh, no, I'm not gonna heal up. Probably should put in a different Pokemon first, though. Marcus, I'll put Marcus in. He can take a hit. Fingers crossed. I think we can get a Vulpix here. If we can get a Vulpix here, that would be perfect. Then I can just get a Jolteon, and then we're done with our team. Or unless we encounter a better one. Hey, it's Sentru. Not the one I was immediately looking for, but Sentru's cool, man. Um, Leech Sheet? Yeah, let's go with Leech Sheet. Let's start throwing Pokeballs. One, two, okay, he's got away, man. The thing with Leech Sheet is it just slowly weakens him. It's not the fastest, but it works. 
There we go. So we need a name for Sentru. What are we gonna name him? Got any idea, Rick, for a cool name for Sentru? Sentret, yeah, that's a good name. It sounds like Sentret, though, from the Generation 2 Pokemon. Oh. Did I just press the wrong button? Oh no, there we go. I thought I couldn't name it anymore. Sentret. Lowercase. A and D. Capital R. Lowercase. A. T. Enter. There we go. Sentret. This tree just respawned again. Mm. Flower butt. Cut. 